Good morning, friends. <laughs> it's Monday. It's 10. <laughs> it's gonna take forever for my body to get used to this time change. Oh my word. Speaking of time change, I need to figure out how to do this on my... Haha, I figured it out. Um, anyways, I need to figure out how to set this meter because it is like 10.05, maybe 10.07. Dun, 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 dun. Three twelve, right? I think so. Okay, done. No, 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 no. Ah, crap. Just set the date for April. <laughs> anyway, I feel better today. Um, you guys can see my face is still really, really red. Um, but I don't feel bad. I am going to take my temperature in just a second to see if there may be something going on. So, all right, let's take this butcher. Now that the, the time is right. <laughs> so I'm going to guess this is probably in the 180s again, even though I didn't have anything to eat last night. Um, but like I said, it ran high all weekend. You guys, if you watched the vlog, you probably saw that. And it's irritating. <laughs> That's why it's irritating when people who aren't diabetic try to give advice on how to keep your blood sugars down. It's like, that doesn't necessarily work. I haven't had anything in 12 days that would make my blood sugar go up. Oh, it's only 150. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I, don't, I haven't had anything that would cause my blood sugar to rise except for a fever. So I wish people would realize that. If you're not a diabetic, I mean, you can understand, but it's not the same. <laughs> and even if you're diabetic, it's still not the same. It's not the same for every person. 98.3, I am all right today. So it's a big day, it's weigh-in day. I've actually already weighed in, but I'm not spoiling it. So if you wanna know what I weighed today, make sure you go watch this week's update. I don't know what to call these anymore. Week 53, year, year two, weigh-in number one, like weigh-in number two, I don't know, it's weird. I think I'll just do it week 53. That's just easier, I think. As far as my day, my arms are so incredibly pissed off at me. I have put them through, excuse me, through the ringer the last week. And yesterday, my hip and my lower back hurt so much. I posted a picture on Instagram and Facebook um, of our, it's a shitty ass picture of our hot tub, <laughs> but we were getting in it last night. And literally that just helped so much. I'm so glad that we decided last Christmas to get a hot tub rather than trying to buy each other gifts because we don't, we don't really need anything. We need stuff for the house more than we need stuff for each other. Even though I did manage to get Rob a few shirts for his birthday. Um, I love buying him graphic tees. Sometimes he wears them, sometimes he doesn't, but um, I've gotten him all of the um, Schoolhouse Rock t-shirts that I can find. So he's got Conjunction Junction, he's got Schoolhouse Rock, and then now they have the I'm Just a Bill. And then I got him a Captain Crunch t-shirt. Uh, what else? Oh, I got him a Bob Ross t-shirt. I don't know that he'll like it, but I thought it was hilarious. And then I got him one more. Oh, Pinky in the Brain. <laughs> I don't know if he likes Pinky in the Brain. I love Pinky in the Brain. 
So, um, I bought him some shirts, like I said, in the past, and he was like, mm, I'm not wearing that. One of them was from Five Below, and it's a toothbrush and a toilet paper, and it's the toothbrush is saying, I hate my job, and the toilet paper is saying, tell me about it. So, he thought that was inappropriate. I thought it was a hilarious AF, <laughs> but whatever. So, anyway, what was I talking about? I don't know. I lost my train of thought. So, I, I need to work on my room a little bit more, but I'm going to have to be careful. I need to film my latest update video. My problem is I just don't feel like putting on makeup today. Um, I don't know. We'll see. My face is so red, but I don't feel like putting on makeup today. So I may just film it as is. I like to get them up on Monday and I've been getting them up on Tuesday, but I want to film today. I don't know what I'm doing today. As far as eating today, um, I'm not hungry. I'll probably be hungry around noon or so. Uh, hear me. I'm gonna make chicken salad. I just remembered. I'm gonna make chicken salad. I baked eight or nine chicken breasts yesterday. And I cut up, I made four dinners for Rob. He put two in the freezer and two in the refrigerator. And it's just my pesto chicken, which is literally, I think I've said this before, <laughs> pesto sauce, heavy cream, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese just to thicken it up while you heat it all together. And then you pour it over pesto. I mean, you pour it over chicken. It's really good. And then um, green beans. We had two bags left and I cooked those up. And then we get those seeds of change, brown rice, brown rice quinoa mixes from Costco. Those are really good. And I was just thinking last night, one of the things I miss on keto that I was able to eat as part of a low carb diet, because it didn't do anything to my blood sugar, was quinoa. I know it's considered a grain, but it literally does nothing to my blood sugar. So I really, really miss it because I love it. Not everybody does, but Rob really likes it. I really liked it. Um, I prefer it instead of cauliflower rice um, for like fried fried rice and stuff. Fried quinoa is so good. It's so good. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe once when I get toward maintenance or something, I can add it back in because like I said, I didn't have any issues with it with my blood sugar. None, and none, none. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I gotta get my day started. I gotta go take a mess today, so my arms will maybe be nice to me today. Um, what else? I don't know. Oh, I filmed a playing with me video last night using the um, face in the arms. Uh, you don't probably don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm trying. I that's the whole reason why I changed my room around. It's because I wanted to be able to film in my face. And then on my desk at the same time and then have it kind of go between each one. And that actually worked out. And so it took probably about an hour to edit, which is not that bad. And it was an hour video. So I'm really excited. As long as the audio stays synced up, <laughs> we will be okay. So I'm going to try to get the pictures taken for that so I can get it, get it um, published and uploaded exported and uploaded and scheduled. Um, I've been trying to stick to a 6 p.m. Central schedule on the July Fed Elf channel, and I think I'm just gonna go Monday through Friday and forget the weekends. So I'm gonna think about it. I'm not gonna make any announcements yet. Um, but yeah, so I need to go film the vlog that's going up today. I'm gonna go film an update video, and then we'll see what happens. So yay for today. <laughs> hey guys, it is. 1 p.m. I just got home and um, I stopped and grabbed McDonald's. I know it's not the best option. I got two double quarter pounders with cheese because I am starving. Um, I don't know that I'll eat both of them, but I got two just in case. I can always eat one later, one tomorrow. Of course, I'm not going to eat them with the bun. I had to go get, I had to go run a few errands and I needed to go to CVS those kinds of things. So again, it's not the best option, but today it's the easiest option. I'm gonna be able to cook once and that's probably gonna be for dinner and that's gonna be a stretch. So yeah, so I just got um, the weekend vlog edited. I'm still waiting for my Jolly Fed Elf to process. It's been uploading now for two hours. 
YouTube is being slow. <laughs> and then I'm gonna edit and upload the update video from today. So, and that's probably gonna be it for today. I'm just, I just can't. So, same story, different day. <laughs> you guys, my face is so red. I'm not taking my temperature. I'm not going to. I'm sure I have a fever, but at this point, I'm not taking my temperature because I don't want to be a complaining planer planer in these videos. And I feel like I do. But So, yeah. So, I'm going to eat. And then I will, I need to contact Frontier to see if I can, um, how much it's going to cost to update our speed on our internet. We are switching from DirecTV now to Hulu TV. Um, Hulu TV is $34.99 a month and this DirecTV now is $65 a month. And Hulu has like a DVR and then you also get access to their library. So like the regular Hulu. And we see, but Rob seems to like it. I think we're missing the couple's channels like TLC. We don't get that. We don't get Velocity. And there may be like Fox, Oklahoma or something like that that Rob's missing out on. But it's still plenty of channels. And plus, again, movies, documentaries, seasons, past seasons, those kinds of things. So, yeah, look into it. If you've... We've made the switch. Um, we have a Roku on the living room TV. We have a Roku on the bedroom TV. And then Rob's um, office, I've made it so he can use his TV as a second monitor so he can watch um, Hulu and it be on his TV because he has a really tiny monitor. So yeah, so I mean, it's been probably one of our better decisions. There is a lot of buffering too with DirecTV now. Um, what somebody had said, but I got the recommendation from um, a friend and they may have better internet than we do. So also, does anybody have any experience with Google Wi-Fi? Because I've seen a couple of people on YouTube who use it and it looks really interesting to me and anything will, that will get rid of dead zones in the house would be fantastic. So yeah, if you are using that or if you've heard of it and have any suggestions, hints, tips, etc., let me know down below. So I'm going to end this um, part. Of, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go get work. I'm just going to finish my job today. <laughs> editing and so I will catch up with you when we get ready for dinner is that up or down it's up a little bit I guess so you guys can probably tell I am hella flushed again because I'm running another fever so my buzzer is up a little bit I'm going I put on another sweatshirt this thing is huge look at this <laughs> Um, this is like a five from Torrid. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I, um, I need to get some fluids in me and then I am going to crawl under the blanket. If I could, I would go get in my hot tub because I know that would warm me up, but I can't lift the lid even though the lid has a lifter. Plus I can't be in direct sunlight in the backyard. I say the backyard where the pool and the spa is gets the evening sun so there's a lot of sunlight back there right now so um i've got a couple of blankets out here that i can just curl up on the couch with rob will be home early because he has a lot of homework to do so um we'll probably eat early actually i probably won't eat i'm still really full so if he wants to eat early i'll let him eat early if not um i just lost my train of thought anyway <laughs> I may or may not eat dinner is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, hopefully this, whatever is taking a hold goes away within the next week. Um, I don't feel sick other than, you know, having nasal drip and stuff like that. But I don't feel like I have a sinus infection or something like that. So I'm just really tired, really lethargic. Um, that's kind of how I knew I had a fever because number one, my face is on fire. But also, I just got like really, really tired. So we'll see. So yeah. <sighs> Welcome to another day as Michelle Levine. So yeah, so I gotta go because I can only hold this camera about one more second before my arms fall off. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I realized I forgot to end Tuesday's vlog. 
So what happened was I spiked another fever and I basically didn't do anything the rest of the day, including eat or cook or anything like that. Rob had one of those meals. So it's like 1245 now. I didn't wake up till noon today, but I'll talk about that in um, Thursday's vlog. So thanks so much, guys. I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye for now.